Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder, and we're here for another episode with Gonzo Rivera's Let's Play on doing port permits. It's a really important time now to focus on getting the next stage of the port permits. We just finished doing the... oh gosh, I can't remember my episodes. We just did India? Yeah, India and... Uh, not India, Southeast Asia. And then we got the Oceania by returning back to Seville, or your major town, your major city, and handing in the quest and doing a little bit there. So today, we sailed all the way to Rio de Janeiro, because here is where the next Imperial quest is. And like before, I told you to go get beer ahead of time. One of the things I'll suggest doing now is getting enough tribute goods to uh, get you through these dangerous waters, because there's a good chance you're going to get attacked by a lot of NPCs and uh, ceasefire agreements don't work here. So, uh, tribute goods for brigands are what I needed. Uh, I ran out on my last trip and it was a little bit of a problem. So, this time around, we're going to go ahead and use uh, these because these will do the best for us on this trip. So, first off, get this Rio de Janeiro. If you haven't discovered it already, it's down here on the southern end of South America. Um, when we were doing our one quest where we were in South America, uh, we went to the South American Northeast Coast, just south of that is Pernambuco. So I kind of just sailed diagonally right from Seville across these islands until I reached Pernambuco, and then I hit Bahia, and now I'm at Rio de Janeiro. So that, that was how I got here. Now that I'm here, you're going to go to your console. You're going to take the Imperial Contracts from your console, and you're going to look for the quest titled Giving Thanks to the Advance Party. So <clears throat> this one requires that you take um, is this the quest I was talking about? No, maybe not. Yeah, no, that is giving thanks to the advance party. That way, um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yep. It has been decided to supply tonic to the as a provision. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get five units of tonic right here in Rio de Janeiro. So we're going to go ahead and accept that quest. And I believe the shopkeeper has them. Tonic. Tonic. Yep. And we're going to buy five of them. That's that. And we're all set to go for our sailing trip. Just going to top off on our Vigor. Since we used some. That's good enough. And we're going to get on our port official. And we're going to go sail to the next location. So... Similarly, similarly to the East Southeast Asia quest, instead of bringing beer, we're bringing five tonics to another location at another um, landing point. So the landing point we're going to be going to is the South America Southwest Coast. So we got to sail along the coast here until we get there. Now, just as a uh, advance heads up here, there are, are a few places that we could stop. We could stop in Buenos Aires and San Antonio first to pick up these ports as we go. Uh, and then this Ushuaia, Ush Ushuaia is not a city. It's more of like a landing point, but also has the ability, I think, for you to stock up on goods. I'm not entirely sure. But it's kind of like, you know, inner uh, city areas, kind of like, you know, Paris and such. Like, it doesn't have a lot going on here. You can't really go. Uh, it doesn't count as a discovery, from what I understand. So you could probably stop there, too, but I don't know if you're going to do anything. So stock up well before you leave San Antonio, before you leave Rio. And we're going to stop here at South America, Southwest Coast, as we wrap around, and we're going to go find a landing point. And over here, the landing point will be uh, down over here when we get there. So very similar to the last quest, a uh, few quests that we've done. That is what we're going to be doing. All right, so let's stock up on our provisions. I like to get 30 days, close to it at least. And we're off. Oh, I have a tarot card that decreases vigor's consumed when using a production skill. That's kind of cool. All right, and there we go. We're gonna start heading south. Again, use items if you have any items you want to use. I think I still have a few items already in effect. Yeah, experience acquisition. Yep, yeah. and I might even use one of these. It's not really necessary, but whatever. Uh, now, normally, if I was trying to avoid battles, I would not even sail near the coast, like I suggested doing when you're sailing around Africa. If you want to avoid battles, that's one way to do it. Um, you know, I would sail 
from Rio de Janeiro, like, out to here. Like, just take this wider path around this island piece, down around in here. But since I need to pick up two more cities and I really want to do it while I have experience boosts, there's a 100% experience boost today as well as I use the 50% experience boost. So to get the 150%, I'm going to pick up as many ports as I can and do these quests. So I'm going to be port hopping here. And, and it might mean I get in a couple battles, but that's why I got the, the tribute goods. So I got to pick up two cities before I wrap around to South America. Now, this quest is the next stage. Um, and then after this one, after uh, you do this one for the southeast, uh, so, sorry, for the western uh, coast, uh, the next one, I believe, uh, port permits, oh, this always happens, I have to do it like this, the next one after this one is the Panama Canal, which I had mentioned you need to discover for the Suez Canal, Suez, we need to discover Panama, and so we're gonna. I'm gonna continue to sail up the western coast here, after I sail around to here, and I'm gonna pick up all of these cities until I get to Panama, because I need to discover that in order to do this. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna say. So when I click it, it'll say you'll have to have discovered Panama and Portobello, which I haven't even discovered Portobello yet. So while I'm on this side, I'm gonna get Portobello. I'm gonna get Panama. Oh, and I'm not paying attention, and I'm in a battle. Gotta have tribute goods, otherwise that would have been a battle I would have lost easily. I also picked up a uh, Amulet of Sun, too, as well, because I know that's one way to also get by if I run out of tribute goods. So. So. Couple of things that you missed while uh, I was away here. Um, I helped a person uh, earlier in game. I gave him a ship of mine. I had an extra. I had my uh, trade sloop, my memorial trade sloop. And I got rid of that to give it to a guy because he said he wanted to have a better ship. So a low-level player gave him my sloop. And now um, I just made space for graduation frigate, so that way it's no longer in my inventory. So now I have a trade ship, which I like to use, uh, which is the graduation Palaka, which has a little bit more storage than the Sambuk, but not much more. I kind of just kind of have this as a placeholder for for now. Um, maybe I can give it to my, um, uh, oh, maybe not. Yeah, I might give it to my uh, aid at some point. But really, I just like to use the sand boot mostly in the graduation figure when it comes time for battle. This battle sloop is the only one that I can use at the moment. And then this right here is also for a, uh, a, uh, an aid if he needs it. So we just passed South America Southeast. So now we need to look for Buenos Aires on the next little inland dri uh, dip here. Almost getting there. We're at level 30 trust. Tr level tr 30 trust. We need to get to 50 before we can give him a boat and get more storage. So far, the only skills he's helping us is with die trading. If I switched him to storekeeper or if I switched him to lieutenant, he'd give me whatever this is treatment. Aid gradually. Recover from stamina of aid gradually. Effectiveness varies based on the amount of surgeon trades the aid has. If there's a trade job type, your character's stamina will be recovered as well. Interesting. Don't know much about these kinds of skills. Uh, I just look for the ones that give me the boosts and the skills that I'm looking for. Which I'm pretty sure I picked up this person so that they give me sewing boosts. Pretty sure. sake of the fun of this episode let's go ahead and blow it up with some amulets of sun that was fun we get a little battle experience while we're at it 
sweet. And then we'll also get some repair experience here until we run out of lumber. All done. That just boosted. When you use ever master craftsman's tools or legendary craftsman's tools, they boost your durability one past their uh, maximum up to a certain number above. I lost a few sailors on that trip. That's okay, though. Nothing too serious. The Amulet of Sun is by far the best thing. For battles, at least. And that increased my Charlotte's battle aid battle skill to level 2, so that's good. It increased me? No, but it did increase my aid. Okay, now we're going to go in here. Vert. I have no idea who that is. One of these days, I'm just going to use one of my letter of appreciations on a random thing to see what sort of benefit I get from talking to one of these guys. I have no idea what that's going to result in. Oh, by the way, another thing I did is when I went to Rio de Janeiro, there was a clerk. Rio has a clerk that sells food, so I bought Mollet because it's a good vigor boost. And I was getting a little low. Okay. Cool. Let's see what they got here. I always like to see from time to time what's here for me. The shopkeeper, if they've got anything good. Boots, longsword. They also have tonic, so we could have picked up tonic here. Hmm. Something I could do some skill grind with. Why not? Something fun to do in the meantime. Oh, good thing I did that. Okay. Top off at the tavern. And get another sailor or two for the ones that I lost. Or three. And we out. It's a bit of a grind, guys. I'm sorry, but this is how it has to go. Plus, you're getting a lot of experience if you use your, uh, oops. I actually might want to do one thing I forgot to do. I want to get some wood, some timber. I should top off on this, too. Just a little bit. All right, now we can go. Continue south. Now I could do this. Got some wool. And I should be doing this while I'm in a trade skill, but because I'm here doing adventure stuff, it's not a big deal. So I can make knitwear. Can't make corduroy because I don't have cotton, so knitwear it is. So now I just gotta look for the next city, which is in one of these two notches, I think. Now, conversations that I, I keep having with people, I think I mentioned it last episode that you should save your money for better ships later and just use the ships that you get from the school. 
I try to tell people this as soon as I possibly can in the game because as soon as you start playing this game, the first thing that pops in your head is, I need to go faster. Sailing faster is everything. And you're right, it is a lot of everything. Just early game, it's just not gonna happen. You're gonna have to sl sail slowly. But the worst thing you could do if you're sailing in these ships is getting rid of your starter ships and like getting a rowboat. Like you are not gonna be fast this early on in the game with a rowboat. You might see some people with boats with uh, oars and stuff that are pretty fast, but you're not going to see that in the early game. Do not use a galley. They're just incredibly slow. They might have good storage, but that few extra storage is not going to mean millions of bucks. It's not going to mean anything early in the game. You might as well just do the questing uh, of the school. Because the school will result in the best boats and the Sambuk. I mean, it's not the most pretty looking ship, but it's a pretty good boat. Trust me, it is going to do everything you want it to do for you in this game. Like, it's going to get all of your adventuring and your trading done after you've graduated. So, that's why I really say focus adventure skill grind first. Because getting this boat is going to be the only boat you're going to really need until you do battles. And then when you do battles, you'll just use the battleship version of your quest line of your school, school boat. So then the, the battles loop will be good. Um, you could use this too if you really had to. Especially if you have an amulet of sun. You don't matter, it doesn't really matter what ship you're in. You could do the, all those quests. Alright, here we are in the next city. Look at that, eventual level 25. This is why it's a good time to pick up new ports. I always like to check to see what's here. I get excited when I see a people standing here, wondering what there's good here. Mate tea. I don't know. Well, on my way over there, we're going to sell our fabric. And. I don't know that we're going to bother buying anything here. Because we're not going to be in another town for a little while. Okay. Off we go. We're going to top off again because I don't know how long we're going to be at sea for. go. Continuing southward. So now we're here. We just need to get around to here. So we moved pretty quickly. I mean, we just sailed from Rio de Janeiro to here in a few minutes. So we should be there in just about the same amount of time we just did total so far through this video to get there. So, but yeah, seriously, don't buy. Don't spend mo your early game money on buying ships from the shipyard, unless if there's something you really like. But there really isn't anything there. I would say get it, mother getting. People can make your ships, so have them make your ships later on. Just use these for now. Once you get past all of the initial stuff like we're doing here, and then you have an open world to finally explore, then start considering getting a better ship. You know, I chose with my main to go with. A schooner and a uh, Victoria. That's what it is. Yeah, a very fast ship is the Victoria. My very fast one is that, and then my cargo ship is my uh, schooner. It's got like 450 base. It's not the most effective, but where am I going? I don't want to go that way. I'll continue heading south. I don't need to go into there. I don't think there's any cities in there. All right, so now we're in hostile water, so we gotta be careful. But yeah, I, I really don't suggest going crazy getting ships. And just as an example, I did a ship search uh, over here a little while ago, 
and a lot of people like want to get trade ships typically that's like their biggest thing they want like a schooner or a trip clipper just to show you where this the uh, sambuk is it's right here i don't know if it's the trading sambuk but it is a sambuk here 16 22 16 close enough this is roughly where we are this sambuk is good enough if i open it up with over almost 400 storage than as most other storage ships like the palaka the grad palaka that we get at the end of the trade here it is 318 i think we get a better one than this it's you know, closer to 400 again much better for storage here's a graduation palaka yeah 368 and survey trading palaka i don't know, I don't know. whatever the, the, these two ships will do you just fine for everything you need otherwise the next thing that I would suggest getting is going up this list. I would say hold on until you can get a, a trading galleon, I guess, or a, or even a well, Claremonts are not really the greatest for you. But this is what people are shooting for: the big transport scooter. And you got a ways to go when you get there, so you might as well just save your money to get one of these schooners. Or if you're going to go that far, then just go a little bit longer. If you're already waiting to level 45, just go a little bit longer until you get to the trading clippers. You know. These ships are great ships to have. So, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go rushing to get out of the Sambuk. It'll do you a good, solid work for a long time. If you want the schooner in between for trading, be my guest. I would say probably focus on getting a battleship instead. Um, the fr graduation frigate that you get is not bad at all. What is it right here? 40 cannons. It's not that bad. The real issue is the durability, but you can get a lot of improvements done with that. Alright, here we are rounding the corner of the southern tip of South America. Now, I'm not the be-all and all of ships. I don't know everything about ships. All I know is that this Sambuk will do you solid for a long time. Uh, some people in game will have their opinions of it. I've had people tell me, don't bother with the scooter at all. I've had people tell me, save up for the trading character like i've been saying i've had people say a trading character trading uh clipper i've seen people saying get the, the galleons uh, you know it, it's really up to you but if it's based off of looking in, like you want to be in a different ship or wanting a bigger ship like this ship isn't the largest of course if you just want a bigger ship then it's different you know you could do something else if you really want to but ushawaya you notice now we're here we are, there is no, like, uh, place to, to, to go sit, you know, go into the harbor or anything like that nature. So, it's not one of those places you could do that, but you can stock up on goods if you need it. So, uh, and employ sailors, you could even change your ship if you wanted to. I don't know anything about Ganador battle campaigns, so I don't bother with those. Alright, so we stocked up. It's just essentially a checkpoint for sailing around here. Oh, and another thing I have on here right now is I put on these things because I was worried I was going to get a lot of battles and now I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> um, and I can't take it off now that we're sailing. So it's kind of stuck on me. So I might be sailing a little bit slower than I thought because I have on light rosewood plating. I just chose these instead of the steel plating because they didn't reduce my speed by 11 or 12. So it is what it is. I chose them. But I did that just in case I was in battles with these ships and I got hit by cannon fire that I wouldn't just completely be annihilated. And that way I could finish out a battle with uh Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I've never done this before. For the duration of sixty minutes you'll be able to receive an endorsement for a job change on the sea from once an NPC of any nation. So we're going to go with this guy. I have no idea who he is. Oops. I'm an idiot. 
You can now receive a promotion doors not only to change the jobs to naval officer. No. I don't want to be in battle with these guys. They're going to annihilate me. <laughs> oh, what have I done? I have done some terrible things. <laughs> I chose to go to battle with my own nation. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I did. I thought that was the button I needed to press. Goes to show you I don't know what I'm doing. Did I get the job card though? <laughs> That's all that I wanted. It allows me to change the naval officer. Jeez. They're sailing faster. I lost a few sailors, but I'm okay. Did I get... Did I get the job card? I don't know, did I? I have no idea. I'm going to try again, but this time not go to battle with them? I don't see my job card. There we go. <laughs> uh, that was the other option. Maybe that shouldn't be the first option. Obtain promotion endorsement and receive endorsement has expired. So now I should have it. In my inventory, maybe. There it is. From the guild as a qualified naval officer. So I believe that's what that will get me. So now I have this promotion endorsement to get a job as a naval officer. Man, I'm an idiot. Whatever. We, we made it out alive. Oh, goodness. Did that really affect you? I'm wondering if that first battle affected my nation status. No. Okay. So, obviously, if you keep battling against your own nations, you will create notoriety with, your na with other nations if you choose to battle them. I don't, I don't know how they knew that I was engaging in battle without me, like, blowing them up, but whatever. Well, we all learned a lesson there, everyone. Don't be foolish and stupid. Like me. Hey, we got some extension out of our water and food because we lost a few sailors. <laughs> Now, of course, I'm not going to show you the sail back part and handing in the quest. That's something you could do. I'm not going to do that right away anyways myself because I do need to discover some things on the side of the island of South America or the peninsula of South America. So I'm not about to, I'm not about to rush and uh, go back and come back around again. It's just not worth it. So this is up a little bit further. We're only like right around here. So let's see what a naval officer is in uncharted waters. Naval officer. The class, right? What skills do we get? Gunfire, sword plague, gunnery, ballistics, repair, leadership, and tactics. But you get an expert skill in gunfire. So, not a bad little skill to have. can't use it here obviously we need to go to like a um, uh, um, uh, a 
guildmaster. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm a guildmaster in order to do that, so. We're almost there. This was a little bit, uh, right there. I may miss this one because it doesn't look like the rest of them, but here we are. Let us enter. User surveying skill. And I think it was this one we looked at. Oh, now that I've navigated away. This goes to Latin America. And yeah, right down there. So not not too bad. Just need to cross this bridge. Again, using landmark ribbons is not a bad idea here, but we're not going very far. And then I believe it's this pile of stones. Talk to the pile of stones like we did that pile of red flowers before. Quest complete. Done. Easy. Alright everybody, so now that you've seen that quest, I've also showed you how to use your endorsement paperwork there uh, and how not to use your endorsement paperwork two lessons learned in one so hopefully that taught you uh, how to uh, handle this quest um, and remember to go back to uh, Rio de Janeiro to hand in the quest um, and like I said while you're here oh I may not be able to actually discover Panama now that I'm thinking about it I just said I would need to discover Panama but I don't think I can because I haven't unlocked the quest permit yet, so we do need to go back. There we go. Lesson learned. Looks like we need to repair our ship, too. We can't do auto nav from here? Oh, we can. All right, so that's cool. Good to know. So back to Rio de Janeiro we go. Put in our skills. And did this repair a sail? Yes, it did. Good to know. Yep. We're all good to go. All right, everyone. So hopefully that taught you everything you need to know uh, about this quest line. Go back to Rio de Janeiro, hand it in. And then, since you got to do the Panama Canal next and the Suez Canal next, I mean, per Panama is absolutely next. You have no choice but to do Panama next because that is the next one on the list. Uh, the Panama Canal so you're going to need to discover Panama so once you go back to Rio de Janeiro then you need to sail back up the coast here and go discover Panama and while you're at it you might also discover Acapulco and Guatemala I don't think you can discover these yet Tacoma and Sa Sacramento or San Francisco yet so but that's something for another time but in the meantime be sure to go back to uh, Rio de Janeiro and then sail back around to here and then up to the west coast and that's what I'll be doing today all right, everybody, take it easy, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe. Hope it was good enough for you to, for you to subscribe and share it to your friends. I'm always here to help. Take care, everyone. Bye now.